Well, this morning, some of the city leaders in Martinsville are coming together and they're finalizing the plans for what they're calling the future of the town. And right now, they're putting all those plans together in writing. Samantha Johnson is in Morgan County with this morning with a look at what leaders have in mind for this. Good morning to you, Samantha. Yeah, good morning, Julia. So Mayor Kenny Costin tells me this plan has really been years in the making and the process here is to really capitalize on I-69, which is pretty much complete here in Martinsville. This plan will not only impact city residents, but all of those in Morgan County as well. Again, a project that's been years in the making. Downtown Martinsville has seen quite a bit of improvement over the last few years. New restaurants, new businesses, and new construction. The biggest project, of course, Interstate 69. Mayor Kenny Costin says now the focus changes to what comes next. Martinsville is a growing uh, community right now, and we just need to get the word out that we're, we're a great place to live. Right now, leaders are updating the city's comprehensive plan for the first time in five years. Where do we want to go? Do we want to keep things still marked as industrial or commercial or residential? You know, do we need to change a few things around? The 134 page document outlines plans for new housing, new outdoor amenities and new businesses. Today, uh, we're a rural community that's not recognized for its possibilities. City Director of Planning and Engineering Gary Oaks says Martinsville is currently putting up close to 400 new homes near Grand Valley Boulevard and Artesian Avenue. And the housing is going to benefit our businesses downtown, will benefit the schools, and will help us on our tax base. Then come new ideas to keep Hoosiers in town. Things like brand new parks, even public transportation. But Martinsville is unique to other communities in Morgan County. We are in Martinsville uh, restricted by our topography. We're in a bowl. And with that comes the risk of flooding. Oaks says the city is working with INDOT and FEMA to update one levy and build a new one near 39 to the tune of close to $30 million altogether. It's a major construction project, biggest this town has ever even thought about. Oaks expects that project will wrap up in just two years as the city of mineral water looks to the future. All right, so here's the deal. We've got this entire comprehensive plan on our website right now, WTHR.com. And if you live here in Martinsville, you still have time to send your feedback to the city. You've got until the end of the day today. So we've got a link for you on our website where you can read the plan and then reply with your feedback. Anne-Marie.